before I begin, I want to make a big announcement. The full Evo calendar is now available for your Apple and Google calendar. I have created a calendar that tells the 13 moons, four market days, and different holidays and correlating rituals across the whole of Ebola, as well as breakdowns of what they mean and the stories behind them. This is available for all patrons who join our community to support this channel at patreon.com slash the medicine show. The mission in the beginning was to bring back order to the chaos of the universe. In Ibo cosmology, what many would call God goes by the name of Chineke. Chineke is a dual entity, both father and mother of creation, the celestial couple that creates all things, and in itself is creation, and the formula by which all things are created and sustained. In the beginning, chaos came when Chuku's wife, known as Ne Chuku, among many names, died in a great explosion. From this explosion, her body became the universe we live in today. The earth, the trees, the animals, the stars, the galaxies, and all matter that is existence itself. Upon her death, her husband Chuku began the process of rebuilding his wife and restoring order to the universe. And so to bring this order, among many things, Chuku created the Abara. And Abara is a spirit force of an element of the universe, or a faction of existence. Among the many Abara, there is Igwe, the spirit force of the sky, or the sky itself. Ushimiri, the spirit force of the water, or water itself. Ana, the spirit force of the earth, or earth itself. And Agon, the spirit force of wisdom, or the mind and sentience of Chuku, among many. Each Abara was a being of great power and ability, and in Chuku's eyes, beings of great importance, as they themselves were manifestations of he and his deceased bride. For when put together, they are all of creation and beyond. When they first came into existence, despite their great power, they worked well with each other and lived in peace in the celestial dwelling known as Ubi Chuku. But Chuku would come to see that soon this order would not sustain and that all good things do not last. The Abara, each great in ability and elemental in Chineke's design, began to grow increasingly jealous of the other. They grew individualistic, independent, and therefore self-interested. Yes, each Abara is important, but which among them is supreme? And who among them holds the greatest portion of creation? From this pride came jealousy, and from the jealousy, greed came into the picture, as each began to struggle with the next for ultimate supremacy in the divine order. Each Abara wanted the powers of the next, each wanted the ability of the other, and each wanted the greatest portion of creation. And as time went, things only grew worse as the divide increased. Because of this greed and the desire to overtake and outdo the next, the affairs of the universe began to suffer. The chaos returned. Rather than bringing order to the universe, the Abara had become a threat to the universe itself. And because they were extensions of Chineke, their tension and division threatened to tear the universal mind into pieces. Seeing the urgency of the situation, Chuku devised a plan. It was decided at that point that each Abara would have its own section in Obi Chuku, and each would be organized in pairs of two, a masculine father and a feminine mother. Ana, the earth, was paired with Igwe, the sky, and together they would create humanity as their children. And then, at the center of Obi Chuku, there would be a marketplace, where the Abara would meet to trade with each other, each giving something to the other and receiving something else in return to sustain perfect balance and equality amongst each other, and to ensure all Abara maintain this universal order. Chuku appointed Ekwensu, the Abara feared by all Abara, to enforce this universal decree, and thus forth making Ekwensu the enforcer of fairness, negotiation, trade, and universal balance, as well as the Abara that ensures things are done to Chuku's specifications. And from this act, Chineke provided a model for the forces of the universe to follow, and thus created the laws of the universe, or the laws of equilibrium, which are reciprocity, equity, and balance. But Chuku did not stop there. In order to finally bring order to the whole of the universe, Chuku divided all of creation into four parts, Eke, Urie, Afo, and Nkwo. And from this, anyone who understands the four spaces of the universe understands all of creation. 
be they the four alchemaic elements, light, water, earth, and wind, or the four natural elements, which are plasma, liquid, solids, and gas, or the four days of the week in that specific order. I'll be doing a video on the four market days and how each one comes with its own language and is linked to your reincarnation. So if you're interested, comment below and I'll put it up for vote. And in the world of our ancestors, this lesson was passed down from the Abara to us. And therefore, at the center of all things in Igbo society is the sacred community market. Located at the...